Tonight, I'm gonna show everybody how to do a rack of jerky at least. I got five racks, so hang on tight to your britches. But I'm only doing one, so it ain't, I ain't gonna confuse you guys or stress you out too much, because that's kind of overwhelming. I'm gonna sit here that long while I'm doing that many. It'd probably be, I think it would be at least a 40 minute video with all the details. So I decided just to do one rat, <clears throat> show everybody how, I'm do, how I do everything. Besides I don't get all messy on top of that. And then I can go into like a little bit of detail without having to hurry or stress out. So what I use is alder. And believe you, if you have a meat slicer, this, shit gets messy so you always need to have at least a tub like i have over there or your bags for your extra that you want to turn into burger so like this one webstrant they designed it so they leave a big gap so you can't get closer to that so you have to use your hands and i'm not trying to do that so always i have a burger bag put it in there yeah webstrant if you guys are watching this fix that shit because it's annoying and I buy them from them. They're my primary person I buy the meat slicers from. I buy a, I have a 12 inch slicer. Monofil, or not, mon I wanna say monofilament. Um, it's, uh, it's something to help the meat not stick to the, I can't remember what it is it's quite. I have to go look at it again figure out what it was but I'm only doing a rack tonight so of course you want to thaw it out hot day like today thaws out pretty quick so you don't want to leave it untended very long now one of the things too is that the way my smoker smokes is that the current goes like this so that means the hot the hot uh, part of the smoker is this part, it's the back side. So you wanna have your thicker pieces, if you do have thicker pieces, or your big pieces back here. Same way with this side, because as soon as you turn the rack around and rotate it, this, will be on, this side will be on the back side of it right here. And you always kind of want to le like leave a little lip over there just so that it's easier to pull off because they start suction cupping. Suction cup, however you want to say it. I foul up on my words. I only do one take on everything. I don't go beyond that. So if I foul up, then there's no redoing. Because everything I do it has to be done at that moment, so. That's why you'll never see me correct my mistakes unless I'm saying on YouTube. I fouled that up, which is what I normally do. There's always some. Talking on the camera and then explaining yourself is one thing, and then watching is another thing. And then when people give you bad reviews, and they're like, yeah, no kidding, guy. <laughs> so I always try to stay positive somewhat, unless it's a, uh, obvious thing and I still try to be constructive about it don't try to be too mean because then when I do it and I'm starting to talk about how I'm laying my jerky or something which is this is right here we've already probably almost completed one full bag so we're gonna grab we have a couple bags over here so I'm gonna take our meat and since it's dry out too you want to like have something to wipe like a uh, I don't know, maybe a, not a napkin, but maybe a towel to dry this off. But I'm just trying to show everybody tonight, so you gotta fight with all the elements. That's legit still. So the, when I'm laying these ones, these ones aren't so like, not, I won't say frozen, but I wanna get these ones on there. I don't wanna 
set them down and start stacking stuff on or the other meat on there because it's a headache i'm telling you trying to pick this up and maneuver this around like it's fresh meat so you always want to have it firm so now i'm getting kind of more into the firm firm meat so then just lay it down piece of turkey from before now I'm gonna start trying to pick it up a little bit because I want to get this finished up and not make it a big old long video. I want it to be short and sweet. And these are nice cuts too. I cut my own meat. I'm pretty sure everybody's aware of that. I do everything. And then Lay this down. I want to get it salted. Johnny's, everybody asks, what's regular? Well, regular is Johnny's and salt. I do a marinade, I do hot, I do pepper, I do everything. You imagine I've smoked it. I smoked moose, buffalo, sheep, mountain goats, you name it, I've done it. Still like reluctant to do the geese and stuff like that. Like everybody asks me to do, like the bird hunters. I'm like, ah, I'm not sure about that. Not doing it. If you're a YouTube or and you know how to do it, man, tell me a site I can look at it. I'm kind of nervous to do that. All right, I'm gonna use this bag to finish this up. I'm not gonna go too much into more. Mm -hmm. Make sure they don't overlap too, so when they overlap, they don't smoke so great. I'm gonna call that good just for the sake of the video. So I can get it done on a decent time. Then here I have my salt and Johnny's, they're mixed together. So they just go as one. Just like that, nice and even. Get everything, touch it down. All right, here we go. This is the part. Going to the smoke shed. Fire's already ripping. Put it in there. And there we go. Check on it in a little bit. All right. I'll shut this too, so everybody can see. It's a big smoker, really big.